So this is going to be a little bit different type of video than that what I normally do. And I'm not really sure how to really start this out, but let's just let's just talk, shall we? So one of the questions I normally get asked usually is when I introduce myself when I say, "Hey, Randall Thor 19, the man with the million." People who don't know me or haven't been listening to me for very long, they'll be like, "What does the million stand for? What does it mean?" And I'll be like, well, it means I have a million gamer score that I've achieved on the Xbox. And usually when I say that, their next question is, is there any video recording of you doing it? And as a lot of you know, last year I was invited out by Microsoft to go to E3 and obtain, hit that mark during the Xbox Daily segment with Phil Spencer and Mike Ybarra. People ask, well, where's the footage? And the footage was on YouTube, but it was on the Xbox channel. Um, you know, I downloaded it, and I, I didn't. I wanted to put it on my channel as some sort of posterity thing for me to look back on uh, for a great accomplishment, and in case anybody out there wanted to see it, you know, for themselves. So at the end of this video, when I get done talking, uh, I will include the three-minute segment of Jessica Chobot and Phil Spencer talking, introducing me, and me breaking the million gamer score with Ori and the Blind Forest Definitive Edition, and then me me kind of meeting Phil for the first time, yada, yada, yada. You guys can see that, and I can relive it, because I really haven't watched it since then. But I kind of wanted to reminisce about today. So this happened June 14th. 2016 so it's the one year anniversary and I figured what better day to kind of put this footage up on my YouTube channel than today and the reason it's never been on my channel before is because I didn't have a YouTube channel until basically October of last year so my YouTube channel didn't exist but now it does I get this asked this question quite a bit so I figured I would put the footage on the channel for people to see now interestingly enough <laughs> It was originally supposed to be Halo 5 Guardians I was supposed to hit at the million with, uh, but they felt it was a little too anticlimactic. I had saved up, uh, I had beaten all the levels in the game, saved one of those uh, short levels where you just walk, uh, where I would get the 100 point achievement because I was at 999,900, and I would beat one of those short missions on Legendary to get that achievement, and that would be it. But they wanted me to prep two games just in case. So I had Halo prepped, ready to go. And I had Ori and the Blind Forest Definitive Edition uh, achievement as well prepped. And then the day I get to E3, the day I go to the Xbox Daily thing, uh, they're like, by the way, we're going to be doing Ori instead. Which is fine with me because, as you guys know, Ori and the Blind Forest is one of my favorite games basically ever. Ever. So yeah, I, I was like, okay, cool. And the name of the achievement is pretty apropos. It's pretty it's pretty cool. The name of the achievement was The Journey Ends. Where at the hundred gamer score, I was at nine hundred ninety nine thousand. Would have put me directly at a million. So I felt the achievement I was going for uh signified a lot because honestly my drive to get achievements has waned since then. I mean, I'll still play games here and there, uh, you know, that you would call achievement whoring, but I don't do it as often as I used to, and I feel the compulsion or the drive to get gamer score to go down in recent years. Now, there's <clears throat> two people I, I want to thank for getting this to happen, and this wouldn't have happen, ha happened without their direct involvement, and that is Phil Spencer... And Mike Ybarra of Xbox. Um, they basically made this happen. Without their involvement in it. Um, I probably would have just streamed it on Twitch back then. But because I am friends with both of them. Uh, they wanted to celebrate that moment with me. Uh, on stage at E3 for my very first E3. And I am eternally grateful. And I can never repay the kindness that both Phil and Mike have shown me. Um, these past couple years that I've known them, they are truly, truly two excellent guys. And I'm sure there are probably more people behind the scenes that wanted this to happen, but 
I don't know who they were. All I know is, uh, to me, it was it was Phil and Mike that made this happen for me, and I am eternally grateful for all the support they've shown me uh, since I've known them. Uh, and then, interesting fact: when you guys watch the the video, you'll probably wonder why I'm not really talking to Phil. Uh, my directions. <laughs> <laughs> were to basically go out there, shake Phil's hand, uh, and never speak to him. Like, don't even really look at him. Look at the camera. Don't look at Phil. Don't speak to him. So if it seems awkward, it was because I was literally given those instructions like two minutes before we got out, out there. So if that kind of seems awkward, then that is what it is. But it was basically, don't look at Phil. Don't talk to Phil. Even though me and Phil have conversed plenty and played tons of games together uh they didn't want me to do that and i was like okay um but yeah um you know it was a it was a great day honestly one of uh one of the best days of my life you know 10 years in the making on a game that i truly liked going to e3 for the first time hitting a million gamer score which on stage at E3 with Microsoft, which nobody in the world has ever done, and nobody in the world will probably ever do again, which is something pretty unique. So, I'm going to roll the footage, and I hope you guys enjoy uh, what is there, and thank you so much uh, for watching this with me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below um yeah have a good one guys we watched a gamer named matt kelly cross a threshold few people have he got a one million gamer score let's take a look Talking and let's go ahead and now open up the proof is in the profile ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and pull up that profile there you see it we're gonna pull it up right now one Ooh. million gamer Looks score good. here for Matt Looks Kelly really I'm good. gonna have you throw that controller down I'll throw it on my, car my cards as well I gotta shake your hand here congratulations Matt Kelly you have joined an incredibly exclusive club tell me uh, how does it feel to do this we're here at the Xbox booth this is your favorite game on the Xbox one we're at E3 2016 this is your first time here how does it all feel it feels absolutely incredible uh, I, I I can't even really probably convey my emotions right now it's, it's been a 10 years I've been I, I've been trying to do this and to finally get it here being invited to E3 uh, I I'm in I'm in heaven it's like a dream it's something I always I've always wanted to do you know I watch all the Xbox pre press conferences every year and I'm just really grateful and uh, that Phil and Mike and everybody at Xbox decided this was something that they wanted to show off so I wanted to thank them personally and uh, all my friends out there so uh, I, I'm ecstatic yeah, and I mean, you now have a few days to explore the E3 floor. Uh, you know, on behalf of Phil and the entire Xbox team, we want to thank you for coming out here. I mean, uh, devoting so much time into all these games. Hopefully, you've enjoyed uh, the journey along the way over the past 12 years, and it's special to have you here with us. So, once again, congrats on crossing that million mark. Thank you very much. All right, so it turns out that Matt actually helped you beat Halo 5 on Legendary, but until today, you guys have never met face to face. We have Matt right here, standing by with Mike Yabar from the Xbox engineering team. Come out here. Hey. Woo! Hey, Rand. Super congratulations. Congrats. One million. That's amazing. On Ori. What a perfect game to do it on. Awesome. Yeah. So Rand and I play games usually once or twice a week. We get online together. He did kind of carry me through Halo 5 Legendary with Mike. <laughs> he's, a, he's a better gamer than I. But I, one of the things I love about the Xbox Live community is people like Rand who get on, support other people playing games, help people do streams of showing what new games are like. I mean, this guy right here is such a vital part of the Xbox Live community. He does it you know, all because of his love of games. And uh, having him here at E3 is really special. So I'm glad Super. he's here. Well, congratulations. That's a huge achievement. Bravo to you, sir. Bravo to you. Thanks so much to Phil Spencer, Mike Ibarra, and of course, congratulations to Matt, our latest inductee into the One Million Gamer Score Club.